Today, I wanna to talk about a new advert for direct line insurance, which features the original design of Robocop. This idea for direct line of pulling on film characters and putting them in new scenarios within their ads isn't new. They've done it a few times. One that sticks out for me was Winston Wolfe from Pop Fiction played by Harvey You're Keitel. Dave, right? Very cool Winston character. Uh, he's not in the film much, so people Mr. always felt like they wanted to know more about him, that they wanted to see stuff that he did, but he was very well handled, just did what he did, was iconic in that role, and then you never saw anything else of him, that was it, man's there and then he's gone. So Direct Line took that and then they had him come around as if he's dealing with an insurance claim and stuff. I am torn on it because on the one hand, I enjoy the references and it's the kind of ad I, I would love to make, I'd love to, yeah, of course. Would you like to have Harvey Keitel in your ad and would you like to have him play a character from Pulp Fiction and you get to do it? Yeah, of course I would. But just because I could doesn't mean that I should because it somehow cheapens the character and the fact that the character in the film was such a small part but is so fondly remembered should tell us all we need to know about it. And he did a couple of them and they're, they're quite well done. They fit with the style and I, I don't think that any of that is bad. The production is good, but I think that for that particular character, I don't like where it takes it. Now, in this case with the Robocop thing, Robocop has been revisited a couple of times. There have been different takes on it. So I don't feel like it's as sacrosanct as perhaps a character from a Quentin Tarantino film that only appears in one sequence, really. It, it's a different thing. So here, yeah, there's a bit of tongue-in-cheekness, but the whole Robocop franchise was a bit tongue-in-cheek. Here they have stayed true to the character, and I don't feel like they've done a disservice to it. It still feels like a Robocop film, and some of the Robocop films really went off the deep end and jumped the shark, so I don't feel like it's bad for the intellectual property and for the memory of what the character was. In fact, I think that it's quite neatly done and the aesthetic of the whole thing actually works pretty well. In fact, when I first saw it, I thought that maybe someone was doing a little short or something around it. I, I didn't realize that it was an advert for a direct line straight away. Quickly, quickly got to that point, but not straight away. Now they have done others with uh, Bumblebee from Transformers or Donatello from Turtles. It is playing on nostalgia and nostalgia can be incredibly powerful and you can get a lot out of this. But sometimes I feel it doesn't take the characters in a direction that they should be taken in. Here, for the most part, I don't mind. It's only the one example of Pulp Fiction with Winston Wolfe that I think doesn't quite work. I am really conflicted on it. I, I enjoyed the ads because I wanted to see that character more, but I don't feel like that character should have been put in an ad. Ah, let me know what your thoughts are on using this kind of intellectual property within adverts. Obviously, it's all licensed, it's all fine, it's not illegal or anything. They are doing this the right way. But how do you feel about seeing things that you perhaps enjoyed portrayed in this way to sell insurance? Drop a comment below, let me know what you think.